Good evening. Welcome to the Samaritz Match Race, the fifth stage of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour 2012. The weather so far has played havoc with the early stages of qualifying, but thankfully there has been lots of live racing today and we've made up some ground going into the finals weekend. Well, it is important. We'll show you that action shortly. But first of all, to set up where we are on the overall tour, we've just passed the halfway mark and it is really where the competition starts to hot up. For those of you who need reminding here's what happened in the first four regattas. Well, let's bring those results into context for you. With back-to-back -back wins in Korea and Sweden, Bjorn Hansen tops the leaderboard coming to Switzerland with 81 points, just four points ahead of last year's tour champion Ian Williams on 77. His victory in Chicago enabled him to close the gap on his Swedish rival. But as you can see, Hansen and Williams have opened up a 20-point gap over their nearest challengers, with Pierre-Antoine Morvan propping up the chasing group in third. So as you can imagine, coming into this regatta, the San Maritz match race. All eyes were on Williams and Hansen, and Williams came here today hoping to pull away and outperform Mekonomen's sailing team. But of course, that wasn't necessarily going to go to plan. We had to see what he did on the water. We go to flight 11. Excellent time positioning from Ian Williams and his team from the UK as they start to advantage Williams as we leave that starting area. They exit the top mark, it looks to me like slightly better pressure to the left hand side as we look upwind, favouring the jibe. But in order to make that jibe, you will have to cross the air of the team from Switzerland. Here, yeah, Clarek jives right on the breeze of Williams in a strong position to attack. This is a great opportunity on his first event on the Apari World Match Racing Tour for this young skipper. And here he is in that dream matchup with the three time world champion. Ian Williams from Great Britain as we come down this first run. And it's the Swiss team with the advantage there on the air of Williams. They've managed to slow him down. It looks like they're going to roll. A big mat moment in this matchup. I can see the majoritively Swiss crowd focusing on the match, looking up the race course. Now he's managed to make the roll, but can he get his jive back in? There again, Bill. He's jiving from starboard onto port here, so he's becoming clear, keep clear boat in this jive. Oh, 
And there he goes for it. The jibe's complete. You can hear yells from Williams in that follow boat. But it all looked fair to me as it is now Cleric that leads this match. He's managed to pass the three-time world champion. Kadan get that jib up. Williams will be faster as they exit this mark. You can see they're going significantly faster now. Hey, hey, too much room. Get the main piece Now, has Williams managed to sail right round the outside? He was sailing a lot faster, and as they exit the bottom mark, it looks to me to be advantage Williams now. Excellent crew work and sailing from GAC Pindar. Still no wind in their spinnaker, they're still parked right at the top mark. As Williams powers away down the run towards the right hand side. Clerk, best friends with the orange mark. He's still right next door. I think some slightly poor decision making from the inexperienced team of Cleric at the top of the course has handed this match to Williams and his team from Great Britain. Now Ian Williams perhaps getting a little tangled in some of these other races. And Cleric from Switzerland, he's got a great little puff. He's rolling down the inside. I don't think this match is over. This perhaps an opportunity for this young team to break back into this match. They're literally going twice the speed of Williams and his team as they power down this left-hand side. Could this be the upset of the competition? The young team from Switzerland are rolling down. It's Cleric on the inside. He's sailing right past the grandstands in a private little puff. The crowds are shouting as this team from Switzerland powers past the three-time world champion. It's a complete reversal. Williams was 100 yards ahead, and now it is Cleric that powers down through the finish line to take the win. A huge upset, a huge twist of fate, but that is sailing. That is Samaritz match racing in a heartbeat as Cleric and his team high five. A deserved win there. That defeat for Ian Williams was playing right into Bjorn Hansen's hands and he went on to have another defeat, picking up just one victory overall today. So could Bjorn Hansen take advantage of that slip up? Well, he had a first defeat against Matthew Richard, but we pick up his flight against Laurie Jury, who'd been in form coming into this regatta. The cool, calm, collected face of the Paru World Tour leader, Bjorn Hansen, taking control of proceedings here against Laurie Jury from New Zealand. Coming up to the start gun. A heavy port bias we can see there. Big advantage to starting down this end of the line. And there's the gun. And as with the previous match where Mathieu Richard won the pin and led off the line, so again in match three, it is Bjorn Hansen winning the pin and winning the start here against Laurie Jury. Bjorn Hansen and his team sailing so well so far on this 2012 Apari World Match Racing Tour, really destroying everything that's been put in front of them. And that includes Laurie Jury in this matchup. Young New Zealand are really no answers to the timing, experience, and positioning of this Scandinavian match racing team. They are through the line. The yellow flag is up. Bjorn Hansen has won yet another win for this top team on the 2012 Apari World Match Racing Tour. 
That win gave Bjorn Hansen the confidence he needed and he went on to pick up another victory against Josh Jr. too. But one of the performances of the day, despite Hansen closing the gap on Williams, was from Matthew Richard. And Matthew joins me now. Matthew, let's start off by today and you must have been happy with how it went out there. I'm very happy uh, with the with our day today. Uh, four wins and just one loss in the last match against Yoni. So yeah, I can't complain. It's a very very good day for us today. Four wins, one boat collision, so half a point deducted. Yes, unfortunately uh, we had a collision with uh, Bjorn Hansen, uh, and uh, yeah, well we managed to to win that match, but uh, the umpires then uh, judged that both boats had had uh, infringed uh, rule, rule 14, which uh, means that you you have to avoid contact any collision when when you want, and uh, so they, they, we were penalised for that, and uh, and I and uh, I had a half point deduction for that. The only blemish on an otherwise good day though. And let's talk about you being a tour card holder last year, but you're not this year. So how was it being back here at this regatta? Well, uh, <laughs> I would say it's a, a strange feeling because I'm, uh, I'm used to, to be a, a tour card holder for uh, yeah, several, several years. And this is the first year for, for since uh, maybe 2008 that I don't have a tour card. So it's strange to come back just for one event and to, to, to see all the, the familiar faces and the, all, the, all the crew who are selling uh, all the year in the, in the tour. But uh, it's a very good feeling and I'm very happy to be here. You have been king of the mountain here in Switzerland twice before. So come Sunday, are you expecting to lift that trophy? Well, we, I will try to, but uh, it's uh, yeah, of course it's very tough always. And uh, uh, as I said, I'm not a tour card holder this, this year, so I'm, I don't sell the, so, so many match racing events. And uh, but well, it seems that we are not too not too bad, and I think the team is competitive, and, and I think that we, we can we can have it. So we'll try to to yeah to win the title at the end. Good luck and thank you very much. Well, before we go, we'll bring you up to date with what's happened here in qualifying so far after 18 flights in the qualifying stage. Johnny Burnson tops the qualifying board with Matthew Richard in second. Laurie Jury, who started the day top, slips to third. Moving down the standings, Bjorn Hansen's two wins see him leapfrog Ian Williams, which is in Bjorn's favour as he currently leads the overall tour. Finally, it's a regatta to forget for tour card holder Phil. Robertson who lies down in 11th and needs a very good day tomorrow. Well join us again in the morning where we'll conclude qualifiers and we'll head into the quarterfinal stages but in the meantime bye for now.